Good morning guys and welcome back. Today is another uni day so I am hacking and trying not to trip over things. I have my laptop which I'm still not sure if I'm going to take with me because I'm not sure what I'm going to do on it. I could, well I can't edit videos on it because I do not have the software for the particular operating system that it's running. Got my notebooks. I've got a lecture and possibly a tutorial. That's my timetable there. Mm. I've got economics, marketing. The management workshop isn't on this week. And the marketing tutorial is the one that might not be on this week. So I might have to rush out for something that's at nine o'clock and no other time. So do I stay there all day? Do I come back and try and get stuff done? I have no idea at this point. I've been watching a little bit of Sakon Nijoli. Oh, my Fitbit was in the driveway last night. It must have fallen out of the car at some point, but we were lucky that it didn't get run over. And here is the Dylan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there. Welcome to the afternoons. I have been to uni today. I had a lecture this morning for economics, which meant that Dylan had to go into work about an hour and a half before his shift actually started. So he took the laptop, which I edit the vlogs on, so I haven't had a chance this afternoon to edit the vlogs yet. But I have been chilling to some YouTubes. I don't know why that went back that far, because I don't remember pressing back more than once. I was feeling cold, so I grabbed the quilt and the pillow. Thought I'd snuggle up a little, just to feel comfier. But now I am going to get on with some dishes. I've got to pick up Dylan, probably going to head out about 4.30, so in about 45 minutes. And yeah, I thought I'd try and clean up a bit more before I came back, or just more to the point, because there needs to be some cleaning up done. I wasn't just in uni for the one lecture this morning. I was actually until about quarter past one, half past one, because I decided to catch up on the lecture that I missed yesterday, so I finished taking notes for that one, and I did some of my homework that I'd written down for myself, so things like taking, oh, I had to take notes from the tutorial for Greek because I didn't take any notes in class because we were talking a lot and listening a lot rather than writing. <laughs> I've just been I've just been filming a little clip for a project that I have in mind. Uh, I've had it planned for a while that when I get married I will have another YouTube channel for other videos called Family Brown. Not Family Brown, this is Family Brown. Mama Brown. Because I like the sound of it and when we have kids eventually I can document it all on there and it'd be cool. But I thought I'd film a little bit of a video today, or at least I had an idea and I thought I'd film a little clip to start it off, so I've got my camera here. And I've actually just been filming me washing the dishes, trying to make a fool of myself doing it, trying to make it a little more out there and have a bit more personality than I usually do. Um, I've always been a kind of a shy person, so I'm trying at the moment to find ways to bring out the personality that's hidden behind all the shyness. And YouTube hopefully is the answer. But yeah, there's been an awful lot of dishes to do, I've still got that lot there, this lot here, and surprisingly that's it. I mean we're doing pretty well at not having masses of dishes around at the moment but that could just mean that we've been eating out a little too often, not sure about that. So I'm trying to get these ones done before dinner and then there'll only be a couple to do after dinner. And what's actually written in my schedule over in the study, if we can find that, is to wash the dishes. Come on, focus! Focus, focus! Come on! There we go. That one says, this one here says dinner, and this one says wash dishes. So the whole idea is to do everything we normally do in a day and wash the dishes at the end of every day so we don't end up with this massive pile that needs cleaning every once in a while. I've already filled up this thing once and emptied it. 
I say filled up, but it's only semi-filled up. The moment you put a couple of mugs in there, you run out of heaps of space, so... I have to finish doing the dishes! I need to get rid of the other two cupcakes, unfortunately. They have been sitting there since Valentine's Day, and since it's now March, I think over two weeks is probably a little too much. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. And look at that stove. I'm gonna wipe that down as well, I think. Get some washing on before I go pick Dylan up. I was gonna go for a run, but I thought household chores needed to take preference because that table is a mess. This whole room just needs tidying and sorting. I dropped, or I had a packet of biscuits in my backpack yesterday, and this is what happens when I shake all the biscuit crumbs out of my bag. And, you know, we've been here for probably two months now. Or is it just over a month? Not sure. Probably a month and a half-ish because we actually moved in on some some 20 something of January and it's only just the beginning of March. So we still haven't opened the vacuum cleaner. We haven't actually vacuumed the house in over a month. So that needs to take priority sometime soon. But um, I think I've only got one lecture at uni tomorrow and then I've only got a 9am thing on Friday. I'll probably come straight home from that because Dylan's got the day off and that means I can dedicate some time to tidying. I've actually got another booktube video that I need to film which I will probably be filming on Friday just because I'm not used to this uni schedule yet. My plan typically will be to film booktube videos on, I may have mentioned this yesterday actually, booktube videos filmed on Saturday and Sunday and edit the Saturday one on Sunday, edit the Sunday one on Monday and then I've got my two booktube videos for the rest of, like for the entire week done well in advance and I don't have to worry about it when I've got other things on like uni. So hopefully I can get into the swing of that soon. I think people are beginning to wonder what on earth is going on with me because there's so much stuff still like behind, which is a shame. I'm gonna leave these few dishes to soak for a minute and I thought I'd do that before I change the water later on. So in the meantime, I will have a coffee with the frothy milk. And I think I'm going to go back to watching a little bit more of the Sacconi Jolies before I have to go pick Dylan up. But I will put a load of washing on. Don't let me forget. I need to put that load of washing on before Dylan goes... Oh, before I... Before I go out to pick Dylan up. Why can't I get my words right? I'm making pizza dough. Because I'm making a homemade pizza for dinner. That noise is our washing machine on its... Spin cycle. I'm just going to close the door for that so that it's not so... There we go, that's done. So I have a bowl of frothy yeast and some flour. And instructions so to make a well in the centre of the flour. Let's just check. Make a well in the centre, add the yeast and mix to a dough. And then use a tiny teaspoon. And that's doing it quite quickly. Help you in the next bit. So, I've had to switch not to my phone but to Dylan's phone because the camera battery died and when I went to pick up my phone to use that instead I realized that was almost out of power as well. So what we've got here is a pizza with a nice thick base of sauce, I mean not a thick pizza dough, I like my pizza dough on the thin side, and those are four blobs of cream cheese. I've not tried cream cheese on it before but we're giving it a go. And I have, here we go, 
but we've got cheese here, tomatoes, that's bacon down the back there, and I have got some zucchini, some capsicum, and some onion as well that I'm going to chop up and sprinkle across it. So I'll show you what it's like when it is about to go in the oven. And there we have it. One pizza ready to go in the oven. I swapped out the bacon for ham because I wasn't 100% sure the bacon was alright. But other than that, pretty much exactly how I said. The final layer of cheese always goes on top because you need something to melt over everything else and hold all the pieces down. But I will put that in the oven in... Probably now, actually. I am excited for this. I'm quite hungry. What are you up to? Not much. How long does your food have left? Do you know? No idea. I should probably go check the timer, actually. Yeah. See how long that's actually taken me to make. Hmm. About five minutes, maybe? That's the timer. I can't work out how this camera works, to be honest, so there we go. It's got about 25 minutes left, so it probably took me about five minutes to do that. And now it is ready to go in the oven. Do you know what's actually amazing, guys? I have managed to upload all of the vlogs that I was behind on. I am now actually back up to date with all my videos. Which means I can go and sleep in peace. But Dylan wants to get up at 6.30, which I think is ridiculous. For me, who, you know, requires actual sleep. I'm kind of mean to him sometimes. Oh, good. But yeah, we are off to bed now, guys. Um, I didn't actually show you guys my pizza once it had finished cooking. Um, it was really tasty, apart from the fact that the bottom had burnt itself to a crisp. So it was a bit burnt on the bottom and really, really tough and crispy, but the topping was really nice. I think next time the oven needs to be on a lower heat so that it doesn't like bake the bottom and then just cook the rest of it. It just needs to, yeah, be on a lower heat so it cooks a bit more evenly all the way through. Dylan made himself far too many potato gems and spicy wedges for dinner. This is got my pizza base recipe from. It's a really good, really good cookbook actually. Um, it is the, it's called Cooking a Common Sense Guide. Um, they changed the cover to the series recently. Um, it's not just one book in the series, they've got a baking book as well which I've got and a few others which I don't have. And yeah, the cooking one is a really good one. They don't have the spiral bindings on them anymore, which is a bit of a disappointment. And Dylan always forgets to turn the light off in the oven. I do. Yep. Um, so yeah, anyway, good night guys. We will catch you tomorrow. And I've actually got most of the day off. Thursdays are my good day, where I've only got a lecture from two till three. So I'm probably gonna drop Dylan off at work, come back and try and get a bit more of this place tidy because I did a little bit of progress today with the dishes. And Dylan has to work again. Indeed. <laughs> Good night. Good night.